Hello everybody. So today marks the return of the study with me videos because I'm taking my first study day today. I am putting away my keyboard today, cracking out the paper and my folders, my notes, my pens and highlighters. I'm way more excited than I should be about studying, but I honestly feel like I'm becoming a student again. I'm returning to my uni days. I've got up a bit later than usual. I took the opportunity to have a lie in this morning just because no one's waiting for me. I can study whatever time I like today. So it is 20 to 11 and we're just getting started, but that's fine. On the agenda today, is random variables, discrete distributions, continuous distributions, simulation and generating functions and I need to cover all of those today because I have a tutorial next week that is going to be on those topics and a tutorial is basically an online lesson thing. I haven't had one before, it's going to be my first one but I need to have read the course notes before and had to go at a few practice questions so yeah, I'm just gonna get stuck in. I'll keep you guys posted on how I get on. Okay, so I've now read through the course notes on discrete distributions and continuous distributions, a lot of which was familiar to me already just from A-level stats and stuff I've done at uni as well. So I'm feeling okay about it. I haven't done any practice questions yet, so that's what I want to do next. But before I do that, I need to purchase some tables because there's basically a booklet with loads of formulae in, loads of probability tables in. People had mentioned it to me, but I hadn't remembered that I needed to order it until now. Okay, so my laptop's run out of charge. So while we wait for this to boot up, I'm just about to call my sister because she had a statistics test this morning at uni. And I've basically been helping her out a bit with her stats because she didn't do A-level maths. So it's been quite a steep learning curve for her. I have found though that helping my sister out with her statistics has really helped me refresh my stats knowledge because so much of it is relevant to what I'm now studying. And a lot of it I hadn't looked at since A-level when I was 18. But anyway, I'm about to ring her to get the lowdown on how her test went. Hello. How'd it go? So you can write probability of farm B given underweight multiplied by probability underweight equals probability of underweight given farm B multiplied by probability farm B. Well, well done sis, I'm sure you did your best effort. Okay, so I've just ordered the tables. They were £15, but then there was a £10 delivery charge. £10 for delivery, so £25 in total. And I have also got a PDF version up on my laptop, which I can access because I'm a member of the IFOA. So I'm going to get started on questions. walking the dog okay so i've had my lunch i've taken the dog for a walk i am back to these questions and i'm feeling quite good about them because the questions i did before lunchtime were all going quite well it's actually so refreshing to have some questions that i can do and not get stumped on because at uni the questions were just impossible although obviously i'm aware i need to push myself and 
if I am breezing through these questions, that's just a sign that I need to move through the chapter more quickly and get onto the more advanced stuff and push myself there. You know, these exams are by no means easy. The only reason the stuff is quite basic at the moment is because it's the very start of the very first module. I'm gonna carry on with these questions this afternoon. There is some more of the notes that I need to read through, particularly on generating functions. Also for the moment, I've been skipping over the parts that talk about coding in R because I'm going to look at those on a separate day, I think, when I try and familiarise myself with R. Anyway, I'm going to get back to it. It's gone dark outside all of a sudden. It does it every day. I swear it's daylight, then all of a sudden it's dark. I, I don't even notice the sun going down until I'm like, oh wait, I'm sitting in darkness, better turn a light on. Nothing much more to say other than I'm stopping doing questions and going back to reading through course notes and then I'll do some more practice questions after that. Okay, everybody, so I think I'm finished for the day. I have read through all of the notes I needed to get through before my tutorial, so it's good news. I've covered random variables, discrete distributions, continuous distributions, Monte Carlo simulations, generating functions. Woohoo! To be fair, I probably could do with doing a few more practice questions, but I might do those this evening. I might do those another day. At the end of the day, I've done enough prep work for the tutorial that I've got on Tuesday. I will let you know how the tutorial goes. I've just realised I didn't mention at the start of this video that today I've been studying for CS1, which is the actuarial statistics module. It's the first module that I've decided to take in the next exam sitting in April. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more study content. Subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram, that's it. Yeah. See you guys later. Bye.